My name is Marcella Auerbach. I'm an attorney partner with Nolan Auerbach. I attended the University of Miami from 1970 to 1973. Went to law school at Sanford Cumberland Law School. Then I attended New York University Law School and acquired my LLM degree, which is a master's in law. I retired from the government in September of 2004 after spending a wonderful career and it was an amazing, amazing life that I lived through the government. Uh, I grew up with the government. I had just come out of law school and I had an opportunity that was offered to me that I never dreamt I'd ever have, working with the organized crime and racketeering section. After 25 years, I felt that I had pretty much done everything, got to the top as far as a supervisor, as high as I thought I could go, and I tried every case I wanted to try for the most part, and so uh, you couldn't get much better than the experience I had. For the last eight years of my career in government, I did key TAM cases on behalf of the government. People of the United States were our clients, so what happened was a whistleblower would come to the government just as we represent clients going to the government now. I was that person they came to. I was the assistant United States attorney that heard the case and made the determination, at least initially, whether or not the case should go forward in conjunction with the Department of Justice. I really hadn't thought of anything but maybe kicking back and just retiring and taking it easy. And that was until I got a phone call from uh, Ken Nolan. He called me about a number of cases, and one led to another, to another, to another, and before long, I definitely wasn't retired anymore. I became a key TAM attorney because it really complemented everything that I had done in the years before. There is so much fraud out there that's very personal to people, more than perhaps they realize. I view what I do now as being a private prosecutor, representing whistleblowers who are the real heroes. Receiving the Attorney of the Year Award from Taxpayers Against Fraud was really a fantastic honor. It was a recognition that our peers saw that we had outstanding character and the competence to represent our clients. Perhaps there will be a day in which there's no health care fraud, or any fraud for that matter. But I don't think that's going to be the case anytime soon. We want the legacy to be that people believe that this is a place that they can come to for help.